Well, what I want to do today is show you how to simplify this rational term, or rational expression, as I should say. And the main important thing when simplifying is there's a couple ways that we want to do it. You know, simplifying, you want to make things simpler. Well, by making things simpler, we can factor out, kind of like divide out what terms have in common, what they share, and also try to write terms in the smallest, you know, or smallest degree possible. So let's look at the numerator. The numerator, they don't share any terms. They don't all share a variable x, nor do they all have a number that's in common that's greater than 1. So since I can't factor anything out that they all share, I can say, is there a way for me to rewrite this in a smaller degree? Rather than writing it as x squared plus 4x plus 3, can I write that as a product of two linear factors? And we'll get to that in just a second. Then we'll look at the denominator. And looking at the denominator, again, I'm going to want to see, can I rewrite this as um, a product of two factors that are going to multiply to give me x squared, so that are at a smaller degree. And then also, what else do they share that I can factor out? So let's look at the top. And since they don't share anything, I'm automatically going to look into factoring. So factoring a trinomial, I always like to use the visual aid of an x. And by using the visual aid of the x, what I'm able to do is take quadratic form, which is ax plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are the coefficients of each term. And what I like to do is, for this visual aid, I multiply a times c, and I put b on the bottom. So a times c would be 1 times 3, which is 3, and b, in this case, would be 4. Then I use this visual aid to tell me which two numbers or what two factors of 3 that add to give me 4. So what two numbers multiply to give me 3 but add to give me 4. And you could say those two numbers are going to be 3 and 1. Then I, what I can do is I can rewrite this as uh, x squared. I'm sorry. Well, what I can see is now, since my a is 1, those are actually going to be my two factors. So I can write this as x plus 3 times x plus 1. So that is going to be now my, my numerator, which I simplified it because I've rewrote it as two linear factors. Then I take a look at the bottom. And I look at this bottom and I say, all right, again, what is it they have in common? Now, before I even go into factoring, which I could do, I say, is there something they share? Can I factor something else out? And what you notice is they both share a 6 and a x. So when I factor out a 6x, what I'm left with, so if I take out, if I divide out a 6x out of each one of those terms, I'll be left with an x plus 6. And then you can see by factoring out that 6x, I wrote it as a product of two linear factors. Therefore, again, it's simplified. But it's very important for us to note that when we're simplifying, we also need to understand which values to exclude of x. And why do we need to exclude them? Well, remember, we can't divide by 0. So any value of x that's going to make my denominator 0, I'm going to exclude from my simplified version of my answer. So I just take a look at this. And what I could say is, if 6x times x plus 6, if that equals 0, that means either 6x equals 0 or x plus 6 equals 0. So therefore, what are the two possible numbers to make x equal or um, would be 0? Well, either x could equal 0 or x equals negative 6. So therefore, my final answer is going to be this simplified version where x cannot equal 0 or negative 6, as that will make my denominator 0. So there you go. Hope that uh, helped you guys out. Enjoy. Thanks.